weather team, as you can expect, been tracking the very latest on Ian. Meteorologist, meteorologist Kaylee Bowers shares the very latest on its impact and, of course, the effects that Kaylee that we could see and feel right here in East Tennessee. Yeah, that's right, Robin. We are going to see the chance for some very heavy rain later on into the weekend because of Hurricane Ian. But right now, here's what we know as of this evening. We're seeing a Category 3 storm with those winds around 120 miles with those wind gusts, 150 mile per hour gusts. So this is a very strong storm. And it's going to continue to strengthen as it makes its way back into the Gulf. Notice it could make landfall between Fort Myers, Sarasota, also the Tampa area. So many people in Florida will be impacted. And as far as the timing of the landfall looks to be making landfall sometime tomorrow morning, afternoon, and even into those evening hours. You can see uh, Ian's track right there making landfall in Florida, impacting those in Orlando and also those in Jacksonville. That's just the beginning. Once it makes landfall, it's going to continue to move up the Florida coast into parts of Georgia, the Carolinas, and even can make its way here into East Tennessee. We could see multiple <laughs> inches of precipitation that could cause some minor flooding. And again, this is all over the weekend. As far as rainfall totals go, of course, this could change between now and over the weekend. We could see one, two, maybe three, possibly four inches of precipitation, but nothing compared to those folks down there. We could say they could see about six inches of rain all the way up to 15 inches of precipitation. So we're talking quite a bit of rain here, but also down in the Florida coast. But Todd, 